to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We are joined by Michael Campbell. And there are two of them. Mm -hmm. Doctors Michael A. and Michael R. Campbell, optometrists here locally. Optical Solutions is the name of the company. Three locations. And this is such a great family business. It's wonderful to see father and son. There's a third son who's in Kentucky right now who's working uh, in med school. So welcome. We're so glad to have you all here. Thank you. Um, I appreciate thank you, you asking. Thank you, thank you. So, okay, so you, you came back about 10 months ago. I did. I did. I did. I uh, did my undergrad at Clemson University, and then I went off to Indiana University, uh, the optometry program there, just like what my father did, and he went to optometry school in Indiana. Is that right? Did you, you went to the state, your, he went to your alma mater? He did. Oh, that's so cool. It was really cool. Uh, it was. It was. There's some still of the same professors that he had I there. I was just going to ask. That I had. Is so it was right? kind of crazy. And that's awesome, being able to have that. Had had practices changed a lot in that, you know, from an educational standpoint? Had, was there new stuff that kind of had come out since you went to school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the building, the school, and the clinic is totally renovated. And, um, you know, it's, we're talking about, I was there in the 80s. Yeah. And so yeah, for 30, 30 years, it's, it had a lot of um, use. So he had a great facility and great, Great education. Now the eyes are all the same, though, right? Like, yeah, is, has it are. has anything changed or any new discoveries since since you were in school? <clears throat> yeah, there's a, there's a plenty of um, new tests. Um, the latest thing that kind of latest and greatest that is in most eye care practices is the OCT, for example. It's an instrument that uh, is an ultrasound of the back of the eye, takes pictures, then kind of gives doctors. Um, a big head start when they're looking at people for the first time or even patients coming back for a repeat that for some reason their vision's just off a little bit but glasses or contacts aren't really fixing their problem then you, all of a sudden you see something else something else in the back causing uh, it the can problem. Be, it can be a symptom of something that you guys can catch ahead of time. That's right. Okay so anybody who has neglected their eyes right or who just needs a checkup you guys are still seeing patients you've been open the whole time through this this whole pandemic but this is a little reminder that your peepers are really important so you, you, you got a separate appointment with an optometrist okay so what are some of the things that you're discovering with folks and you guys also have a retail side of it so you can do like the whole shebang right there in-house right. yes yeah I mean just last week we had uh, a tours here and obviously uh, we love the tourists and, and they, uh, they support our community very, very well. But, uh, you know, they jumped in the ocean, glasses go off, our waters aren't the clearest around here. so Couldn't you know, find them. Couldn't find Lost them. Lost the glasses. Yeah. So we made glasses that day for them and, um, you know, they, they got uh, to enjoy their vacation and drive home safely. And still see. And still see. Right. Can you imagine that? Same day. That's that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your process is a little slower right now in terms of the pace of things. We need everybody to be a little more patient with this. So they're going to come in. You'd like people to have their own mask. Yes. Right? Oh, so they're wearing masks throughout. Mm -hmm. Doctors have masks. All of our staff have masks. We like, you know, the patients have to have a mask as well. Um, and, you know, the COVID-19 is, uh, is definitely changing the way doctors have to you know, uh, look at everything and, mm. and our sanitization of the office uh, slows down the normal process yeah. uh, because we're constantly, constantly uh, wiping down chairs. Disinfecting and, after yes. any kind of new presence in the space, right? I mean, it's almost everywhere. I mean, wherever you go now, you have the face when you go up to the front to pay at the cash register, you sure. have the guard up front there. Yep. Um, as us, we're now wearing scrubs. Um, we yeah, you were suit and tie, right? You were suit and tie. All the time. How has that been for you? Do you feel... Uh, you um, it's different. I mean, I, I uh, you know, I, I normally have a lab coat on, yeah. and I, but it, it's, uh, you adjust. You it's know? safer. It is. And that's what, you know, you disinfect yeah. it all the time. Okay, so you, you've just come back. Um, what's the practice going to look like in the next couple of years? Three locations, a lot going on. And so you mm -hmm. have a, a minor in business. And so this is just wonderful that you've come back to do this. What are we looking at in the future? I mean, you know, expansion would be the best thing is to keep on growing, to keep on getting farther out. I mean, you have Hill and Head here that, you know, it keeps on um, thriving. You have, you know, the multiple people that live all in the around the community. And then you also get then have the Bluffton, we have the Bluffton location in yeah. the promenade area. Shelter and Cove. Shelter Cove Bluffton and then and the hospital the location hospital. right yeah. next to the hospital in Hilton Head. And with that, um, 
you know, if we can keep on stepping it farther and farther out, uh, that would be amazing to get down into um, Buford area and to slowly keep on expanding. Yeah. It's day always, by day. Day always by day. the dream. I'm so glad that you guys have, have been able to rejoin together in business. That's just wonderful, as well as in, in your practice expanding optical solutions. Yes. So good to have you all with us today. Well, thank you. All right, thank we'll you be so right much. back with more Talk of the Town.